Hi guys and welcome back to another video of Gaming with Powers. I'm Jake and today we're going to be continuing doing playthroughs of the Marvel United uh, promo uh, bundle content. Uh, so we have been making our way through all of the uh, villains and heroes and so I think we're down to only about uh, three more, three or four more villains and about 12 more heroes. Uh, so today Modok and his crew has busted into S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters and Nick Fury along with Mockingbird. Uh, and Hawkeye are teaming up to try and stop him and his henchmen. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump down to the table where we have everything set up. So here we are out down here at the table. We have everything set up uh, for a playthrough uh, with MODOK from Marvel United. Um, let's go ahead and jump in and see what we have with MODOK. Uh, so MODOK is going to be starting with 7 health with 3 players. His special rules is going to be when MODOK has to flip a hero card... Take the face-up hero card closest to the start of the storyline and flip it face down. Uh, face down cards are treated as blank, okay? His BAM is going to be flip one hero card. Uh, overflow, if one or more civilian or thugs can tokens cannot be added to a location, flip one hero card. His villainous plot is the heroes lose if all hero cards in the storyline are face down. Uh, interesting, okay. Um, let's take a look at some of his threats in henchmen. So, uh, cool enough. Uh, he actually has some henchmen that will actually become villains in uh, the new uh, Marvel United Multiverse uh, campaign. Uh, let's start with one of those villains here being Spot. He will be in the Maximum Carnage expansion. Uh, when Spot bams, it says flip as many hero cards as the number of heroics at the bottom of the last two hero cards in the storyline. We have Chameleon, which will be his own villain. Uh, when a BAM occurs, he will deal 1 damage to 1 hero in the location equal to the number of uh, punches at the bottom of the last 2 hero cards in the storyline. And then we have the Living Laser, who I don't think is in the Marvel United Multiverse campaign. I wish he was. I wish they kind of would have put him in been cool. Is to uh, deal 1 damage to each hero in this location. If there are no heroes in this location, flip 1 hero card. So those are his 3 henchmen. Uh... As well as that, he has three different threat cards over here, starting with uh, Technopathy. Uh, heroes, whenever he lands on this location, heroes will lose all of their action tokens. If they have none or wish to keep them, they can flip two hero cards. Uh, psionic Powers is heroes starting their turn in this location must play their card face down in the storyline. They get no benefit from their own card. And then when he lands here on Energy Projection, uh, he will flip, heroes must flip one card. Uh, that sounds pretty, pretty tough right there. Um, okay, guys, these locations we got today, we are looking in New York City, right? So we have the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, Stark Labs, Avengers Mansion, S.H.I.E.L.D. Helicarrier, New York uh, Police Headquarters, and Avengers Towers. These are all locations from the original base game of Marvel United. Uh, as thematically as possible, I have chosen to start at S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, and uh, MODOK is starting on the S.H.I.E.L.D. Helicarrier. Uh, before... Uh, we actually get into uh, MODOK and drawing cards. His special uh, effect it says, I must take the preparation card, a uh, master plan card, set it aside, go ahead and shuffle his deck together, and then I will put that card on top. All right. So that card is on top. So let's go ahead and draw his card, which says, move MODOK to the hero starting location. All right. So he has busted, him and Living Glavager have busted into S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. Uh, ready to handle up business. Okay. Um, so for today, guys, I am going to not be doing shield mode again. Uh, I'm going to be handling uh, all three heroes individually. Individually with their uh, three cards. And I am not doing a heroic or any type of challenge whatsoever. So I'll have these wild cards. Uh, I am tired of getting my butt handed to me by these pesky villains. So I'm seeing if I can bring in some wi uh, wilds. Uh, if that will do the trick. So let's start with Mockingbird. So Mockingbird is going to have a move, a move punch, and a Spy Master card. The next Master Plan card cannot add any civilians or thugs in that in or to my location with a heroic. All right, let's go ahead and draw some Nick Fury cards. What do we have for Nick Fury? So Nick Fury has a move heroic. We have a move and a move move. And then we have Hawkeye, and I'll rearrange these in a second. We got three from Hawkeye, 
and we have a double heroic we have a long shot deal double punch in the opposite location and we have a move and a punch all right so i'm gonna go ahead and set mockingbirds cards over here and we're gonna have nick fury's cards here and uh hawkeye's cards there uh so i will have their decks over here to the side so i apologize for you guys not being able to see their decks uh but let's go ahead and um see what we got here so hmm i want to kind of get rid of this living laser first so i think um do, 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 do. Uh, you got a heroic that's pretty good. Um, really don't have a lot of things. I think I'm going to start with Hawkeye. So we'll go Hawkeye with a move and a punch. Oh, I got to draw first. I always forget to draw. So Hawkeye, we have a regular move. Yep, so I'm going to do a move and a punch. So I will punch the Living Laser one time. He has a health of four. Uh, Chameleon has a health of four, and Spot has a health of four as well. Okay, up next, who do I want to go next? I think I'm going to do Mockingbird. So let me adjust these. So Mockingbird is going to have defeat two thugs in your location and then punch. Um, man. How many thugs are in that location? One. Uh, I think I'm going to hold on to that card for now and use this move and punch. And so I'm going to double punch to get rid of the living laser. And I think I might actually move. Um, what is this? Heroes lose all of their action tokens if they have none or wish to keep them flip two cards. Heroes starting their turn in this location must play their card face down in the storyline. Okay. Um... I don't think he's going to go backwards, so I think I'm going to go to uh, the Avengers Tower with Mockingbird. And then let's go with Nick Fury. We have a punch. Uh, so I will use Nick Fury's punch. And so I will use my double... Well, I got one punch from Mockingbird. So that is the four damage on Living Laser to get that man out of here. Uh, what is the end of turn effect for shield headquarters? I may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to remove one crisis token from everywhere. Okay. Uh, so that was one punch. I'm going to use the second punch to defeat this thug. And I think I will move... Um... Man, see, I don't want to move on these BAMs yet. So I think I'm going to move over to Avengers Tower with Mockingbird. And that will be my turn. So let's see what Modok is doing. He is moving three and then bamming. So he's going one, two, and three. Well, actually, no, he's not going to do any damage to me with a bam because he's just flipping cards over. Okay, so he will move three and bam. So his bam is flip one hero card over. Uh, then we have uh, Chameleon. Deal damage to one hero in this location, okay? Okay. Uh, flip as many hero cards as the number of heroics at the bottom of the last two hero cards in the storyline. So I have none at this moment, so I will do that. And then he is bringing out, uh, so he'll bring out one civilian and another one that overflows. So I must flip another card face down. And then uh, he's got one and one. Man, this is rough. Uh, so we got one and one there and now it is my turn so we are looking at hawkeye master marksman this turn you can treat each symbol on the storyline as a double punch i think i'm gonna do a hawkeye move okay hawkeye move so set that up for next turn so move here uh we don't have a punch available okay and then uh, what i'm thinking is Oh, no, opposite location is here. But I can still get rid of spot because um, I have this long shot. Okay, uh, next is going to be Mockingbird. So she will draw a double punch. Uh, so I have a move available to me. And I can defeat two thugs in my location. This is a tough one. This is, 
I do not have really any cards that I need. I should have gone Nick Fury second. Um, so I have a move available. I guess I can... Nah, because I want to avoid... Man, this is tough. So I guess I'll just do a... I'm going to have to set a lot of stuff up. All right. I'm going to use Mockingbird. So a double move. Uh, so I'm going to have Mockingbird move over to Chameleon. And then Nick Fury. So what are we drawing with Nick Fury? We got a double wild. Okay. Um, so Nick Fury, I think, is going to... I'm going to set this all up. Okay. So Nick Fury, I think I'm going to use my double move with Nick Fury. So I got three moves, right? And we're going one, two, and three. And uh, I think I'm going to hold Pat like that. All right. I should be okay for now. So let's see what we got. We're moving three and bamming. He says consciousness transfer. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, Bam on the next card flips one additional hero card. Oh man, so he's going one and two and three. Uh, he is bamming, so I must flip a card in the storyline over. Okay. Um, we'll start with Chameleon here. Uh, deal damage to one hero in this location equal to the number of punches at the bottom of the last two. So they're all moves. Flip as many hero cards as the number of heroics at the bottom. They're all moves. And then he doesn't add anything at all. So now it is coming back to me. All right. Uh, I have a move and a punch. So I think what I'm going to do is do this. Um, well, I actually got a double move. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I got this. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to use Hawkeye in that location. I'm going to do long shot. So deal a double punch in the opposite uh, location. First, I'm going to use, yeah, no, I'm going to do that. So deal double punch in the opposite location to a uh, spot. And then I get a heroic. And I get a, uh, so I just use a heroic here. And then, oh, this threat token should be here. And then I get a double move, huh? I think I'm going to stay there. I think I'll stay there. Okay. So next we have uh, Mockingbird. So we have a wild. Uh, Mockingbird is going to use her double punch. And I will punch him chameleon twice. And I will save this uh, civilian. And then we got Nick Fury. Nick Fury is a hero of your choice, immediately performs a double punch, and I get a wild. Nice. Uh, I'm actually going to do that. Director of Shield. A hero of my choice gets a double punch, which will be uh, Mockingbird defeating Chameleon and declaring this threat. And then I get a wild and a double punch. Uh, so I'm going to do Mockingbird's double punch to hit that and clear spot. And I may draw three cards until I have three in my hand, which I do. And then I get an extra wild. Uh, so I will save this uh, civilian here. So that was my three turns. Okay, that's a pretty effective turn, I feel like. We're moving one, uh, no bam. And he is filling up thugs everywhere. So two thugs at this location. Oh man, that's gonna be great. All right, and then uh, one thug to the side of each. Okay, and we start with Hawkeye. So I get a wild. Um, so I get a wild, and you can treat each symbol in the storyline as a double punch. I got a double heroic. Um, I think I'm going to play... No, because if I clear that, he's going every two. Um, I don't want to make my move just yet. Because um, defeat two thugs in my location. Yeah, I think I'm going to do my wild with Hawkeye. Use one wild to move here. Use my next wild to punch that thug. 
Okay, then we're going on to Mockingbird getting a move in a heroic. Uh, I'm going to play Mockingbird's special ability, uh, Battle Stabs. So I get to defeat two thugs in my location. All right. And then uh, I get a punch and a wild. Uh, so I will use my punch and my wild to completely clear uh, all of these thugs. All right. And um, now on to Nick Fury. So I get a double heroic, double wild. Um, Nick Fury gets, gets a punch. Um, I can do a move, heroic, a move, double wild. Um, I think I'm going to do my move heroic with Nick Fury. So move heroic and a punch. So I'm going to, I'll just have this. Okay. So I will do my punch here, which will clear that. I will move and I will save a civilian or should I? Yeah, I'll save a civilian. Save a civilian. Okay, that was my three. Uh, we're moving four and bamming. So that's one, two, three, and four. Uh, whew, okay, uh, so he lands on that. So heroes lose all action tokens if they have none uh, or wish to keep them, they can flip uh, or if they wish, Wait, let me read that again. So heroes will lose all their action tokens. I have no action tokens. Okay. If they have none uh, or wish to keep them, we can flip two cards. So I have no none. So we must flip two cards. And the storyline face over. Okay. Uh, then he is bamming. So he will flip one card. And then because of his uh, consciousness transferal, uh, as long as the card is face up in the storyline, bam, on the next card flips one additional card. Okay. And um, he is filling up. All right, so this will overflow. So uh, we get a thug here and a thug here. And this overflows, so I must flip over an additional card. And then this spot over here, I will fill up. Now, my only question is, if you guys put this in the comments below, please, is on this technopathy. It says heroes will lose all their action tokens. If they have none uh, or wish to keep them, they can flip two hero cards. Now, does that apply to every hero or just the entire group as a whole? I just did it to the entire group as a whole because it said heroes. Um, I don't think it would apply to each individual hero that I'd have to flip six cards over. Um, if that does apply, guys, please go ahead and put it in the comments below and let me know if I did that incorrectly. But I'm just assuming that based on the wording there, it says just in general, I flip over two cards, which I have done. So I've drawn a double punch for Hawkeye. So I think I'm going to go ahead and play this double punch. Uh, ooh, no, 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 no. What was my move going to be? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I need to clear this heroic. Okay. So I have a move heroic, and I'm going to play my double heroic. So I have a move. I'm going to use uh, one heroic and another heroic on Hawkeye to clear this threat over here, uh, which is this will now make him go after every two. And then uh, I have one more heroic available to me, so I will just save that civilian. Uh, you may search your deck for one card and set it aside, then shuffle your deck and place that card on top. Uh, I'm just going to place my double wild on top, shuffle my deck, and play that double wild. Um, okay, Mockingbird is next. Uh, what do we got from Mockingbird? Uh, the Mixed Master playing card cannot any civilian or thugs in your location. No, nah, that's okay. I got a double heroic. Um, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot. You know, I guess I could just do this move heroic. Oh, I got to draw first. <laughs> uh, I got to move heroic. So that just swaps out. So I'll use a move heroic uh, for another heroic. So I will move up here and just save one of these uh, civilians. Okay, now it is back to Modoc. 
we are moving five and adding, so one, two, three, four, five, we'll end up at the New York City Police Headquarters. And this will overflow, so he will flip a card face down on a storyline. Uh, this will add one thug, and then he will overflow, uh, flipping another card face down. And then this will add a one thug as well, and this will overflow. Okay. Um, so that is... Uh, on to me. Okay, so I got three cards left that cannot be flipped. So let's start with Nick Fury. Let me make sure I did that right. Yep. We are starting with uh, Nick Fury. So I have a punch. Uh, what do I have? A heroic. Um, so I'm going to do my double wild. And uh, so double wild to punch two of these thugs, which will now allow him to take damage. And then I got a move and a heroic. Uh, so I'm going to move here and heroic. All right. Uh, then we have uh, Hawkeye. So my double wild on Hawkeye. Um, let me see. That's going to be has double punch, so double punch, double punch, move. So that's four, or I can hit him for three. Uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do Master Marksman, okay? Which is going to be, this turn you can treat each symbol on the storyline as a double punch, okay? So that's a double punch, technically that's a double punch, and this is a double punch, so I can do six. Uh, but unfortunately, I need to move. So I will move here, and I will do both my wilds as double punches. So that's going to be four damage, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, to Modoc. Um, and it will be Modoc's turn. So we are moving zero and bamming. Okay, so he is staying where he is at. He is bamming. So he will go ahead and flip one card over. And because of uh, consciousness transfer, he will flip another card face over. And what else does it say on this card? It says, accelerate the next villain turn, the villain turn by one card. All right, so I will play one card, and then he will go again. Uh, so I believe it is Mockingbird's turn. Okay, so we have a move at our disposal. She's there. Nick Fury will go, but he's going to go. So I'm hoping he goes either two or three. So I think think I'm going to give, I will just use my wild, um, I think, so I'm just going to use my wild on Mockingbird, so I had a move in a wild, um, I'm going to move here and do a punch to wild that, and then ending my turn there, I can search my deck for a card of my choice, and put it on the top of my deck. I'm gonna choose my double wild here. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. I gotta, I gotta do this. All right. Um, and now he goes again because he accelerates by one turn. So he is moving one, and he is not bamming at all. So he is moving one. Uh, there'll be no bams, but he will uh, put uh, one civilian on here, and he's supposed to add another one, so that will get overflowed. Uh, then he will add one to each side. So that's an overflow down right here. And then that is up there. So that is another overflow there. And then he's not doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and shift this storyline up. Storyline is shifted up. And we are beginning with Nick Fury. So Mr. Nick Fury gets a wild. Uh, so I have a wild at my disposal. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, Hawkeye is going to have to spend his next turn playing a card face down and gaining no benefit from it, which is very unfortunate. Um, okay, so I have... Oh, did I not draw a Mockingbird? I think I was supposed to draw a Mockingbird. Um, just do my Nate Fury Wild. Um... I will move here and then swap one card in the uh, storyline with a card face down, get my wild back. Um, and then 
So that's one. Okay, so then Hawkeye is going. So Hawkeye will draw. Until the beginning of your next turn, any damage you would take could be redirected to enemies in your location. But starting this turn, I must play their card face down in the storyline. So I'll do that. And I will move up out of here. Um, he's got to be moving two or three. So if he moves one, two, if I move here. Oh, man, it, just, it doesn't matter either way. I'll just move him here. Oh, uh, well, actually, no, I'll move him here. I'll move him here and see what we got. All right, so Modoc is coming to me. He is moving two, and he is bamming. So one, two. Uh, he will flip one card over, an additional card over, and that is the... Oh, no, 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 sorry. So that card should be flipped over. So I have one card left. Uh, he's overflowing. Whew. Well, I'm hanging on to a thread here, guys. I am hanging on to a thread. So he will, but at least he ends up in Nick Fury's location. Um, okay, so that was, no, that's game. Because I had to put that card face down in the storyline. Because um, that should have been flipped over. And I had to put that card face down. Yep. Uh, that That is game. Because uh, all of the cards in the storyline are face down. Um, all right, guys. Well, oh, that is unfortunate. I was so close uh, to winning. I just, my plan did not look work out like I thought it would. Um, all right, guys. Well, this is uh, Modoc, and this is Hawkeye, Nick Fury, and Mockingbird. So let's talk about first impressions here. Um, I definitely think all of these characters uh, work really well together. Um, you know, definitely from Hawkeye, we had a lot of, let me grab, uh, they all had, it seemed like, a lot of move cards, uh, being able to um, use a lot of those different resources. Uh, let's see, so Hawkeye had his special effect cards are going to be Martial Artist. Uh, until the beginning of your next turn, any damage you would take can be redirected to enemies in your location. Uh, we got a double punch, a punch, a heroic, a move. Uh, deal double punch in the opposite location with a heroic. We obviously have this wild and this double wild, double heroic. You can treat each symbol in the storyline as a double punch with a move and a move punch. And there is one more card up here, which is a move punch. Um, so definitely a lot of double cards. Again, I like how each of his special cards are di uh, different. Um, but I don't really quite know if he had a lot of impact on, on the game. Maybe he had, maybe he hadn't. Um, but yeah, I think he's a pretty fun character. Uh, being able to set up a lot of move and punches or being able to hit things that are really far away. Uh, you know, that helped me clear a uh, spot. Uh, very quickly and very early in the game, but I kind of liked how um, Hawkeye felt. Um, I had a lot of options at my arsenal um, if I needed to. I felt like I had enough punches to clear the thugs and do damage, and I also felt like I had enough heroics uh, to be able to clear uh, some of these objectives. Uh, look at uh, let's take a look at Nick Fury next. So Nick Fury, uh, def definitely a support character. Let me grab all of his cards here. Now that I've gotten all of Nick Fury's cards, definitely a support type character had a lot of moves, uh, right? We got a, a, a move move, and then we had like a move heroic. We had another move uh, available, and then I think there was another move. And oh, maybe that's it. Really, only three moves. Uh, it seemed like I drew a lot of moves early, unless I'm trying to see. Yeah, it just seemed like I drew a lot of moves early for him, but uh, that double move is very critical, I feel like. Let's take a look at his special abilities. Uh, Director of Shield, a hero of your choice, immediately performs a double move in a wild. Uh, Director of Shield, a hero of your choice, immediately performs a double heroic and then a wild. And then you guys saw this one where a hero of my choice can immediately perform a double punch and a wild. So again, I feel like that is a very good support uh, card and a support ability to be able to, uh, you know, you can set that up where I can have heroes on the opposite side of the board and play that card and allow them to take extra actions. Um, other than that, let's see uh, what we got. We got a heroic, a punch, obviously is double wild and wild. 
uh, another punch and a double heroic. Um, yeah, so not really too impactful on his own, but again, he's more going to be more of a support type character. And I felt like he did that job, uh, supported me very well and allowed me to do what I needed to do. I just didn't get some of the cards that I needed on him. So I think my mistake was I was trying to rely on him too, to be able to do some type of damage. And that quite didn't work out, um, the way I expected it. And so, um, I should have used him more as that support character and being able to set up other like Mockingbird and Hawkeye to do damage. Okay, last but not least, let's take a look at uh, Mockingbird. Uh, so right off the top of my head, I feel like she was kind of in between. I feel like she was in between a support character and a uh, damage character. Let's take a look at her special ability. So Spy Master, uh, your next master plan card cannot add any thugs or civilians. Uh, to your location, and she has that card uh, three different times, I believe. What? Maybe only twice? She should have three different... Ah, uh, yeah. So she has the same card twice, and then the last one is Battle Stabs, Defeat Two Thugs in Your Location. Um, I feel like these two Spy Master cards right off the bat are going to be um, kind of lackluster uh, uh, for this game mode, right? Because I really wasn't concerned about him adding thugs and civilians, which I, maybe I should have been more of. Maybe I could have used, utilized these cards more since when Overflow occurred that um, the uh, the cards would get flipped over, right? But then again, it's like I never really needed a heroic because I was trying to clear those three monsters out and then I had already cleared that. So I really felt like I didn't need a heroic, so I needed to work on trying to do damage. But maybe again, that's my mistake. I could have played that strategy a little bit better. Uh, the battle stabs though, I feel like that's pretty good. Um, see, these are going to be her support and then this is going to kind of be her all offensive defeat two thugs in your location and then you get a punch. So allowing me to clear thugs, uh, pretty well. And let's take a look at the rest of her kit. So we got a double heroic, uh, a punch, a move, uh, heroic. Uh, there's obviously her wilds move heroic, double punch, move, move, a uh, punch. So again, you can kind of see how she's kind of like an in-between character, right? Like there's, um, She's got some heroics, she's got some punches, but she doesn't have a lot of punches and a lot of heroics, and then she has that kind of in-between uh, support, and I can I can help you defeat a lot of thugs, but then I can also prevent uh, things from coming out, right? Uh, that's also a blessing and a curse, because there might be some um, situations where you need the, the villain to get thugs out and, heroic, or, and civilians out, and if you play that card, if that's the only card you have available to you because you might need that heroic, then you're essentially halting your progress. Uh, but those are the three characters. I would say the, uh, I don't know if I really have a favorite out of these three. Um, but I did not feel that any th these characters, maybe really Mockingbird would be the only one that I felt was lackluster a little bit. Um, but I enjoyed playing all three of them. Again, I think the synergy between the three of them uh, worked really well. And, um, you know, I made some mistakes, obviously, and I could have done better. Now let's talk about MODOK. Uh, Modoc definitely was an interesting villain, right? I think, um, again, I kind of took him for granted where it's like, you're not really doing any damage to me, so I don't have to worry about that where I move. And then uh, you're just flipping over cards. And so at first, my initial thought was like, Jesus Christ, like this dude is going to be flipping over cards like crazy. And then he kind of lulled me into this false sense of security where it was like, okay, you know, he's only flipping like one or two cards a turn. I'm okay. I really don't have to worry about that. And then I forgot about the overflow where that would flip over more cards. And essentially like, you know, it. and then I ended up landing on this. And I don't know why I didn't think about this before uh, of having to like, that's going to be an automatic card flip face down. And then he's doing both of that. Um, so again, like you're really just going to have to plan and be smart with him, but I think it's an interesting mechanic and a kind of like a fun mechanic because you have like almost like a time limit. It's like, there's a time limit to him and it's kind of like a countdown, which like is essentially his villain in a way. Like if you know anything about the, the comics, uh, but yeah, so that is Modoc. Uh, that is uh, Nick Fury, uh, Hawkeye and Mockingbird guys. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough in the comment box below. Uh, go ahead and tell me uh, which one of these characters was your favorite. Um, and uh, as always, guys, hit that notification bell so you can see when more content is coming. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, guys, so we can keep bringing you more awesome content. All right, guys. Y'all have a great one. Bye.